Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. Following up from our previous video, where we have learned how to set up three different colors for the bench objects, in case the client of your uh, project uh, have decided uh, to see different options, but in case the three options that uh, you have provided him is not actually enough or uh, was not what he's looking for. And this is where, we, where you're going to realize that you're going to need a color picker to set up like an endless option for him and actually let him decide the color he prefer uh, in real time. To set up a, a color picker in real time, we're going to need a widget uh, where we can um, in real time change the color. And the easiest way to do this is by using a, a custom plugin created by Rama. And Rama is actually uh, one of uh, the technical artists where, have, where he have made uh, like um, lots of contribution, actually free contribution to the community. And the color widget is actually one of his uh, widget that he shared back in, uh, I think, 2015. And it has been updated to fit the Unreal Engine uh, version up to, I think, uh, for uh, 19 and this has been also adjusted by an artist called Callum Bendel I hope I was pronouncing this uh, right so I'm sorry if uh, the pronouncing of the name was wrong if we can go to the github we'll find uh, where we can download the, the custom plugin that we can install to our project so how can we install a custom plugin to our uh, project where we can see the, uh, the color widget for our project? So uh, to set up a custom plugin, I have created just an empty uh, project example. So we can see how we uh, can set up that. So going to the project folder, and this is where we have the plugin that we, the custom plugin that we have uh, downloaded. Where we, I'm gonna actually put the links down in the video call, uh, details so we can uh, find them easily. So this is our project folder. I'm gonna create a folder called plugins and I'm gonna copy the folder that I have downloaded inside this plugins. So this is a project that was created uh, by 4.25.3 Unreal Engine. And the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to run the project, uh, the example project, and it will ask me to uh, compile if, if I should compile uh, the plugin. So one thing to keep in mind that you should have Visual Studio C++ just in case you get some errors uh, while running this. So I'm going to run this and immediately it will ask me if you want to build uh, the victory UMG created by Rama. So I'm going to hit yes. and. It will show me that the engine will start now building. I actually forgot to uh, close uh, the engine, but let's see if we can close it. Let it build the plugin. Okay, so now uh, the plugin have been uh, built inside the project uh, file. To make sure that it is installed uh, correctly, we're just going to create just a sample widget. And once we go inside, we'll see the victory UMG, which is the color picker. If you drag it here to the canvas here, we'll see. Let me just set up its size. Okay. So this is the color picker where Rama actually said he used the same color picker that was uh, developed by Unreal Engine or by Epic Games inside the Unreal Engine. So. If you also go to the plugins, you'll find that the Victory UMG was also installed. So this means that you now have uh, the color picker widget where we're going to use it inside our project. So back to our project now, where we have our widget material that we have created earlier. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I want to extend the size of this. I'm going to just make it. 500 by 500 just to be visible in our uh, screen and to do this we need to set up something called uh, a widget switcher 
and the reason why we want to use the switcher is that because we don't want to lose also the material option that we have so basically we don't want to create also another uh, setup of uh, a widget for this uh, color picker I'm just gonna create a switcher where we're gonna switch by buttons on the left between uh, the different wid uh, widget that we're gonna uh, set up for the material so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a switcher I'm gonna drag it in the canvas here and then I'm gonna wrap all of my uh, buttons by a canvas by a canvas panel and then I'm gonna drag these buttons inside canvas panel okay so now where I have all my uh, buttons I'm just gonna extend the size of this canvas to fit here and now I can resize my button easily as we have learned how to do in our previous uh, widget videos so I'm just gonna do this uh, just for the sake of this tutorial without having the same size so we can switch to the other widget that we're gonna create let's just increase the size of this sorry about that let's make it 20 okay okay so this is the the first one where we have uh, and we're gonna drag this inside our widget switcher and now I'm gonna drag also the victory uh, UMG or the joy color wheel by Rama so I'm gonna just also wrap this the canvas panel and I'm gonna drag this also inside the widget switcher so let's just increase the canvas size a little bit okay so this is gonna be in more than enough I think you can also check if the switcher is working by just going to the widget switcher you'll find that there is an active widget index so zero will represent the buttons of the materials and one will represent uh, the color uh, bigger okay so also to set up uh, the buttons that will switch between these two we're gonna need to set up two buttons just a simple uh, button inside our widget here okay so I just paused the video to arrange all the widgets together to so speed things up so we have the widget switcher and we have the buttons uh, that gonna switch between these widgets, uh, widgets so the first thing we're gonna do is to assign the function to the color wheel where we're gonna be able to change the color so this is gonna be very easy I'm just gonna press on the on color change of this uh, joy color and I'm gonna duplicate this these nodes where we have created them earlier for the material and I'm gonna drag from this set vector parameter or value on material so this is where we're gonna change the value of the material the color of the material so we're gonna connect this to the set vector parameter and also we need to connect the new color to the parameter value so basically what happened is that the Unreal Engine have uh, transformed the new color into parameters that are arranged by the RGB colors of the color wheel so uh, the last thing we're gonna do is to get the parameter name of the material so let's get for example from the dark stone if we open the, open the original material we'll find that our color that we have uh, built earlier in the material is called the wall color so I'm gonna take a copy of this and go back to our widget and just paste the name here so now that we have the color wheel uh, ready to go with the nodes the next thing we're gonna do is to assign also the functions for these uh, buttons to switch between uh, the widget 
So for the material, for example, I'm gonna unclick. I'm gonna get a node called set widget index. If you can for what it find, you just uh, uncheck the context uh, synthesis. So we need the index, and we're gonna need also the switcher as the target. And basically, this is the first uh, widget, so it's gonna be zero. And for the other one, which is the color picker, just make sure that it's uh, color picker name and unclicked, duplicate, connect, and this is gonna be one. So before we compile, we're just gonna add uh, one last button to close this widget. So I'm gonna duplicate this and name this close and also for the text just to be clear so this is going to help us actually to close the widget once we choose the color and and once we click on it we should get remove all our widgets which we have used also earlier with the material widget so now we can compile and let's test how this is uh, going so far. So if we move to the benches where we have them uh, assigned to this uh, widget option, we can see if we hover over them, we can see our uh, widget, which have the color that we have uh, set up earlier. And now the switcher that we have set up enable us to switch between these two uh, widgets, which makes it actually easier and uh, much more uh, efficient in, uh, in switching between the widgets. And this is the color picker that was uh, created uh, by Rama based on the color picker that was also originally created by Epic Games inside the Unreal Engine where we can also change the color in real time and also get the numbers of the RGB if for example your client uh, or the viewer of this presentation have chosen a specific color that he feel comfortable with you can easily go to the RGB and uh, choose the color and they can also change the color based on the gradient uh, that uh, also available inside the widget and one last thing that they can also change uh, the color based on the color picker tool where they can pick their preferred color based uh, on the scene wherever they can see so uh, this is really useful uh, in terms of an ArcVis project where we can uh, change the colors in real time and uh, Finally, we would like to thanks also Rama for sharing this up and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And again, if you have any question regarding this, please share it down in the comments below. Hope this was useful for you guys and uh, thank you very much and see you in the next video.